Hey guys, Adam here with AmericanMuscle.com, and today we're taking a closer look at and installing the Speedform Matte Black Chin Spoiler available for the 2018 and newer Mustang without the Performance Pack. Now, if you have a Mustang or a new S550 without the Performance Pack and you're looking to beef up the profile of the front end of your S550, a chin spoiler like this from Speedform is the perfect way to go and an affordable one at that. Now, without the Performance Pack, you didn't get a really aggressive factory chin spoiler. You just get this small matte black textured black lip here at the front end, which yeah, leaves a little bit to be desired. If you feel the same way I do and you're looking to add something to that without actually having to uninstall or really permanently modify it at all, this is a great bolt-on option. This basically doubles up the factory chin spoiler that the non-performance pack Mustangs came with. It's the same overall general shape and design. It protrudes out a little bit more from the vehicle and bolts up right to the underneath of that factory spoiler, giving it that double decker or dual layer design. Now I will say that this is made from an ABS construction, something that almost all of the exterior styling parts are made from. It's impact resistant, it's UV resistant, it's a really durable and flexible plastic. It's something that you'll see on chin spoilers, regular spoilers, window scoops, louvers, so on and so forth. This one here is more of a smooth or at least a supple grain textured finish. Um, it's a lot smoother than the factory one here and it actually is just a tad bit darker of a matte black than the factory option, which is more of a charcoal gray finish. So it does stand out a little bit more, but I personally think it looks pretty good on the front end here. It is paintable if you're looking to customize it as well. You can take it to your local paint shop to get it custom matched or match the OEM color of your choice if you have an S550 that you'd like to match it to. Something like that can add a little bit of personalization to the option. Now this guy here is running you right around 175 bucks. Install, I'm giving it one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. Again, it is a really easy bolt-on. You are gonna be screwing it into the bottom or the underside of your factory spoiler, so you will be creating very small holes. I'd say about 10 of them across one side to the other, so you are gonna be putting holes in the factory spoiler, but if you were to ever uninstall this and go back to stock, you would never see that modification unless you put your vehicle back up in the air. So really, in my opinion, it's a no-brainer. You are gonna be creating new holes, but again, you'll never see it. The install, again, one out of three wrenches on a difficulty meter. It'll take you about 30 minutes, maybe an hour from start to finish, if that. It is super simple. You are gonna need to get the vehicle up in the air a little bit to make life a little bit easier, especially if your vehicle's lowered at all. You wanna have a little bit of room to work with. Keep in mind, guys, this is a three-piece spoiler, so you're gonna be screwing all three pieces together before putting it onto the car. Make sure you're keeping an eye on which hardware you're using to attach the three pieces together. Use the smaller screws to attach them together and the longer screws to screw it into the vehicle. With with that said, guys, I'll walk you through the entire process. Let's start on the table. Tools used in the install include an impact gun and a Phillips head bit and or a Phillips head screwdriver. All right, first step here, we have to assemble our new chin spoiler on the table. It does come in three pieces and it's just four screws that are gonna hold it together. Two on the left side, two on the right side. Grab four of the screws included in the kit. They're just Phillips heads, so I'm gonna use a simple Phillips head screwdriver. We're gonna connect these guys all on the table. It is pretty long, so if it's easier for you, you can do it on the floor. We're gonna do it on the table here to give you guys a better visual. And then from there, we'll throw it up on our car. Next up here, you wanna take that center section. You can see the two open holes there. And the end section, doesn't matter which side you start on, and you'll have the two knobs on the bottom. Put that on top of the center section, and they fit right in. Flip it over here, and you're gonna screw in from the back. I'm just gonna set the screws in place, grab your Phillips head and tighten it down. I recommend using a screwdriver and not an impact gun so you don't end up stripping out the plastic. And these guys get a really tight squeeze. You wanna make sure it's nice and snug, but you don't wanna overextend it. All right, same thing on the other side. All right, once you have both sides connected, we can start screwing this into our factory spoiler on our vehicle. Now this next step is a whole lot easier with a helping hand. If you have a friend that can hold up one end while you start screwing it down on the other end, that goes a long way. If you're working on the ground, it is a little bit easier. I'd recommend screwing one side in and then the other to help hold it on and then you work your way around. You're basically gonna screw in new holes on the bottom of your factory lip. I'm gonna have my buddy Jarrett help me hold this up and we're gonna tighten this down.
Grab your Phillips head screwdriver or your impact gun and tighten these guys down. Again, you don't want to over tighten it so it doesn't strip. Just get them nice and snug and repeat that for all of them. All right, from there, you're good to go. That's gonna wrap up my review and install for the Speedform Matte Black Chin Spoiler available for the 2018 and newer non-performance packed equipped Mustangs. You should be checking this out right here at AmericanMuscle.com.